Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today we'll be talking about Quinn Williams who just got arrested last night. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And also, please make sure to check out the podcast Just Jets. It's on YouTube and anywhere else you can get your podcast, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen. Please make sure to check it out. And you could also get in on the conversation by calling this number. 631-517-0782. Call in, leave your message, and I'll answer it on the show. Now let's get into the stupidity. So Quinnen Williams was the third overall pick from the 2019 draft class. Many considered him the best prospect from last year's draft class. Obviously, Nick Bosa was already off the board at two. Kyler Murray went one overall. So the New York Jets had their pick between Josh Allen, who ended up falling to Jacksonville. He had a double-digit sack season as an edge rusher. The Jets haven't had an edge rusher like that in 10-plus years. They decide to go defensive tackle in Quinnen Williams. Keep in mind, this is a team that already had Leonard Williams, Steve McClendon, Henry Anderson, Folo Fatu Kasi, Nathan Shepard. So they were pretty stacked at the interior defensive line position, but they, well, quadrupled down on it, I guess, picking uh, Quinn Williams in the top three. He has a disappointing rookie campaign in 13 games. He had two and a half sacks, 28 tackles, and was essentially a rotational piece where he got outplayed by a third round pick in Nathan Shepard. Uh, he got outplayed by a six-round pick in Folu Fatukasi, and he got outplayed by an undrafted free agent in Kyle Phillips. It was not a good year for Quinn Williams. It was pretty quiet for him. And now last night, things start to heat up a little bit when he tried to board a plane at LaGuardia Airport with a gun. Now, this was a legal gun. It was registered in Alabama. But why you would possibly try to board a plane with a gun makes zero sense to me. He was then arrested by Port Authority, and now this is a big story because it seems like the New York Jets can't go one single offseason without something traumatic happening, whether it is Sheldon Richardson driving a million miles an hour with weed in the back of the car, whether it's Robbie Anderson's story from a few years ago, or Muhammad Wilkerson. Just There's always something with this team, and the fact that it's a 22-year-old former first-round pick just a year ago, and he really underperformed and then did this on top of it, really makes you wonder the maturity level. And, and I'm not saying he's a bust. I'm not, but I, I just don't understand. You're coming off a really bad year. Why in your right mind are you going to the airport with a gun? It just makes zero sense. It makes no sense. Why do you Why do you have it? it? It doesn't make any sense. Listen, if you want to have a handgun to protect yourself, that's fine. You're legally allowed to do that. It is a registered weapon, but be smart about it. Bringing it to the airport and trying to get on a plane with it is not smart. You have to be smarter than that, and I know he's only 22 years old. He's got braces still, which is mind-numbing to think that. A kid with braces essentially got arrested for trying to bring a gun onto a plane that is wild. He needs to be better in 2020. Uh, on the field, I'm talking about at this point. As a top three pick, you have to have more impact than what he did in 2019. And the 2020 campaign is not off to a great start for Quinnen Williams. Let me know what you think down below about Quinnen getting arrested. What are your expectations for him in 2020? Is this a big deal? Am I overreacting? I don't know. Just get at me in the comments or on social media at Matt O'Leary and why. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll talk to you next time.